now it's 18 minutes to nine. Let's have a little dig around the news for the first time met this year to hopefully find one or two stories you haven't heard about. And Sean, we'll begin with you. You have something fairly timely because, as we mentioned before, there's been a heck of a lot of coughs, colds and worse really going around the island over the last yeah, few weeks. There certainly has. I think no no survivors up here at Max <laughs> Radio, certainly, but plenty of it going around. And... There's a new study has been published, um, particularly looking at women and how they recover from colds. We hear a lot about man flu. Women apparently cope better. But uh, a new study, 400 young women surveyed by the uh, Archives of Sexual Behaviour. Uh, and they have found that women with a larger chest can take twice as long to recover from a cold. Oh, OK. Does that mean, does that mean actual physically the chest like rib cage size oh okay literally um, a lady with an f cup breast will take (laughs) an average of 8.3 days to recover from symptoms of colds coughs and flu compared to just 3.8 days for those with a double a bust how on earth does that make a difference (laughs) apparently it does for when you're lying down the the weight. <laughs> Maybe that's I like Ben's it. just staying sternly <laughs> quiet. No, in this. I, I don't quite know what to contribute to this. Well, one. you're probably a double uh, a double A or something. You know, well, what, pretty what, small. And you, you what do you reckon? <laughs> well, well, well. The, the, the moves have increased over, <laughs> o- over Christmas with the uh, the indulgence. It has to be said. But I've I have generally I had a little bit of uh, sort of snottiness and clagginess just before Christmas. But generally I've been all right. But this is a bizarre. Yeah, sort I'm, of I'm strongly inclined not to talk. Me and Sean is... to not have an opinion on this one. There is a scientific. Uh, reason offered which is that um, higher levels of the hormone leptin are right. released when you have a larger fat store in the boob region <laughs> and apparently that can lower Sorry. the immune system right. well do you know what here we are the, the, the first one of the year and I think you're oh, already get on us fine going with a bang. Abs- Why not? absolutely <laughs> what, what are your thoughts on this if you had a coughs and colds <laughs> over the Christmas period What do you think about boob size, Andrew? I just don't want to say a thing. (laughs) I think we'll move on swiftly. You've got something a little, little closer to home, not not cup size related. Closer to home, but also uh, relating to the UK. I mean, so often on. (laughs) So often on, have you heard we talk about Strictly Come Dancing? It's one of your favourites, Ben. But. It's heading to the Isle of Man in a, some kind of guise because mm. Anton Dubeck, one of the the favourite characters, I suppose you could call it, uh, following old Brucey, uh, is coming to the Isle of Man. He's making an appearance later this month uh, to give a presentation in Douglas. Right. Tell so, me more. Well, OK, I will. <laughs> He's going to be here on the 30th of January, so right at the end of the month at the Palace Hotel. And it's called One Enchanted Evening with Anton Dubeck. It starts at seven o'clock, finishes around midnight. It has a three course min- uh, dinner. It's a black tie event, entertainment, charity raffle and a presentation. So this is uh, fairly vague on the presentation, but I imagine it means here a bit of a Q&A, probably a bit of a chat about his life and career and maybe a little bit of a dance as well. So hey, yeah, you'd be lovely. hoping he has a little dance. If he, he doesn't, he'd be a, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's got to strut his stuff and he's been there right from day one on Strictly. Yes. So over 15 years and over the years he's been given the, what would you call them, the, 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 the jokier contestants, yeah. you might say. You know, the ones who were put in for a bit of a giggle. And Whittacombe, I suppose, was oh, the, the yes, one he... But actually, he did a really good job with her. And uh, this year, oh, totally forgotten who he danced with, but actually he did get to the final or almost the right, final, was okay. it? Right, OK. Yeah, no, I didn't see it this year. No, so. I didn't either. There we go. Can't help you. I think it was the, the first <laughs> time he got the to the again. final. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm a sort of strictly in ish fan um, yeah. but that, that's, that's a good I one like though. Strictly I didn't watch it this year but yeah he's uh, he is a really loved character I think on the show so uh, he'll be over on the island uh, yeah sharing his to get your tickets stories, now yeah, yeah. if you want to hopefully see him strut his stuff uh, and speaking of kind of music related things have either of you seen the movie of Cats yet? No I have not it's, it's been <laughs> utterly kind of panned by it the has. critics I've and, seen a lot of my friends slating it oh well this is the thing isn't it it's been panned by the critics but actually as you were saying online punters have said Oh, actually, yeah. mm, not great. Audience reviews on IMDb, which of course is the uh, international movie database, have got given it a 2.8 out of 10. And if you know anything about IMDb, anything above six is all right. Anything above seven is good. So to have 2.8 is pretty damning from audiences <laughs> yeah, around the definitely. world. That's, and, that's bad. And it's got a great cast as well. Judy yeah. Dench is in there, Ian McKellen, James Corden, Jennifer Hudson, Idris Isn't Elba. Taylor Swift in She it? is. She's mm-hmm. done a song yeah. as well. Um, oh, obviously, it's a musical, but yeah, one of... <laughs> <laughs> she's, 
<laughs> Here we go. We're Just because she already, likes cats, we? though, doesn't she? That, she loves cats. That's the thing. But Variety uh, say that the film has been pulled from awards consideration, with it no longer available to watch on the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences for your consideration streaming platform. They, I bet you, though, it's up for what they call... Is it the Razzies? The Razzies. Oh, the Razzies, yeah. 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 They're the... the, the the awards for the worst movies. I bet you it gets... It'll, it'll probably <laughs> clean up there, to be honest. <laughs> I think it may well do. So, yeah, they're basically saying at uh, Variety that actually don't expect to see it at the Oscars or any of the awards ceremonies because, yeah, actually, it seems like the criticism is justified. But if you've seen it, let us know. Did you love it against mm. all the odds? We'd really love to hear from you. And speaking of awards ceremonies, Golden Globes uh, last night, uh, Rocket Man did OK. Yeah, Taron Egerton got a good Golden Globe for Best Actor, didn't he? He did indeed. Doing very well there. So we thought, let's get a bit of Elton on for you now. Are you ready for love?